हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू हैव टू टैप द बेल आइकन एट दिस टू द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम माय चैनल हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू अबाउट गैस मेटल आर्क वेल्डिंग दैट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज मिग वेल्डिंग एम and whose full form is metal inert gas welding so metal inert gas welding gas metal arc welding mig welding all are same thing and i'll be explaining you in this video so watch the video till the end you'll definitely find it very useful so let's start on the top that's the top figure it represents the diagram where we have the base metal arc how it is produced the solid white solidified weld metal so here basically we have a solid wire electrode so the electrode it is in the form of a particular wire having the outer diameter 0.035 inches up to 0.045 inches so the the outer diameter of this solid wire electrode it is 0.035 inches up to 0.045 inches and this wire it is being fed using a wire feed drive motor and this wire it is rolled in form of a, a loop and uh, this this wire it is periodically supplied through this wire feed drive motor this is the wire feed drive motor so it actuates using the feed control control system so this is the feed control control system where we set the particular speed of feed or the feed rate of the wire we set in this machine that gives the signal to the wire feed drive motor which in turn pulls the wire so wire it's in the form of a loop and it is being pulled into the gun into the final gun and uh, this wire the red color wire it finally because this is a consumable type electrode here so this wire itself it gets melted and forms the weld bead so this wire it acts as two purposes first of all it itself gets consumed in the process because it's a consumable type electrode as well as it starts the arc so this this wire its feed rate it's depending on the application the thickness of the base metal the type of base metal so we have to set all these parameters in the feed control control system also we have a separate shielding gas now shielding gas used are co2 argon or co2 plus argon so shielding gases generally we use co2 argon mixture in few cases where weld weld metal or the base plate it's very thin we use only co2 if it is very thick we use only argon so i repeat for normal purpose uh, normal thickness base metal work pieces we use co2 plus argon mixture for thin work pieces we use co2 for thicker work pieces we use argon so this shielding gas it is supplied separately in the in the gun using a using the same control so here we can see this is a gas cylinder which houses all the shielding gas and this due to the actuation of the feed control system so this is the control system so this entire is the control system in which we have to set different two different parameters one is the feed rate of the wire that is being governed by the wire feed drive motor other we have to set is the shielding gas flow rate so what is the flow rate of the shielding gas that will surround the weld pool and form the protective cover around the weld pool so this pink color weld pool it is the it is the shielding gas that prevents any oxidation of the solidified weld metal in the weld pool so the shielding gas this is very much important otherwise the weld with, will get oxidized and uh, it will create porosity in the weld so we ensure 
So I repeat, there are two critical parameters peculiar to MIG or MIG welding, metal inert gas welding. First of all, we have a consumable type electrode in the form of a wire by which we tap and we start the arc. We make and break the contact. Then arc is sustained and this solid wire, it is being fed through a wire feed drive motor which is being actuated using a feed control present in the control system. So this, uh, this is determined by the feed rate that we feed into the control system. Other parameter is the shielding gas which can be CO2 argon or CO2 plus argon mixture whose flow rate also we have to set in the control system. Altogether, we can use AC and DC welding source both and uh, other than this it is very fast process very fast welding process but a specialized control mechanism as well as proper um, workmanship is needed in order to ensure a quality weld bead so uh, this is a very good welding process very fast welding process but we have to take care of the like uh, workmanship and various parameters in the control system such as gas flow rate and the wire feed wire feed rate so guys if you have found the video very helpful please like the video please share this video and if you are new to this channel please subscribe and press the notification bell i would be seeing you in the next such video till then take care bye bye